Hey what's up guys, it has been a while. If you're wondering where this series has been, it's been on a little bit of a hiatus, um, to say the least, because not necessarily that I lost inspiration as much as I just didn't I lost not inspiration for the project, more like I lost kind of inspiration for YouTube in general, because I, I, I was already kind of having like not second thoughts on YouTube, more like, like, concerns and all that about, like, the growth of my, well, not growth, yeah, kind of a bit of my growth, but just the status of my, um, YouTube video channel, and then I hit, I got a video with 500 views, the, um, um, Coasters and Planet 2 video, and that kind of just accelerated, it. like, how am I going to be able to top that, and... I, I've always wanted to do YouTube. I've been, I've been doing YouTube for two years at, on this channel to this point. If you go back all the way to when I probably when I started doing YouTube, it's been maybe four, four or five years since I've started on my content creating journey. And my I have changed a lot over those years. And I kind of wanted to make my this a whole separate video about this, but I'm I'm just gonna talk about it here. I've changed a lot. I, if you guys look back at my oldest videos, it's on this channel. It's all it's all Minecraft and some Among Us with my friends and all that. Now it's all roller coaster based. It's except it's just like I don't know what I want to do with this. It's like I love YouTube. It. It has a place in my heart. It's just I don't know how like I'm gonna end up if I ever will become successful on this platform because I, I growth is slow. Growth, gr growth, no, gr growth is slow and and it just feels weird that I'm just like how my channel is actually progressing. But, I'll talk about this a little bit later um, in another video, but I have been doing this for two years. If you were to look at when this channel crea was created, it was about two years ago. And if you look at when the um, first video, it's a little bit after um, the first um, um, the first video because I did not have a mic at that time, and I wanted to start with a mic. I didn't want to be those weird, one of those weirdos that don't have a mic and just, just like, just has text on the screen. Not gonna lie, I did that for like a year, and I had zero growth on my old channel, so it makes sense. Um, but so I actually haven't talked at all about what we're doing in this episode. We are working. On a new roller coaster, two up, no, actually, almost two episodes in a row. We've worked on a roller coaster, and if you're wondering why I almost said two episodes in a row, is because episode 15 was supposed to come out a long time ago, but it got scrapped. I wanted, what I initially wanted to do is kind of a beach boardwalk, which I'm getting rid of that idea because it seems a little bit too difficult for me right at this moment. Instead, I'm going with a, not a beach boardwalk, but a, a beach. Like, you can come out, take out, like, bring your sandcastles and, well not, bring your buckets for a sandcastle, bring your own towels and stuff like that. And it's going to be out, set out on that beach right behind um, the coaster that you guys can actually name. Um, so in the comments, give me a name for this um, new coaster, and if you're a little, if even, and if you're a little, even a bit more helpful, you can even send me a sign. Uh, if you do, if you, I'll, I'll give you a shout out in in the um, next video if you if you got guys give me a name. But if you give me a sign, I'll actually I'll put you in the park. Like uh, I'll either make you some like custodian or like a um entertainer or something like that or I'll put like a sign with your name like in the in a parking lot like it's your reserved spot but this episode like it's been a while and I can I think the reason why I kind of stepped away from the series for a little bit is because I saw that 
the growth on that. It didn't go. It didn't go as um, high, like in the views that I thought it was gonna go. And I'm like, oh no. And then, and then it didn't help that two weeks later, actually maybe three weeks later, I r uploaded a video and it got f like 500 views. And like that's kind of why. Also, also, um, I wanna explain on what I'm doing on the screen right now because it makes just look like I'm doing some random ass crap. Well, what I'm doing right now is actually making, like, you know how on roller coasters that are inverted or have, like, floorless or, like, whatever, mostly B&Ms, they have the, the, like, gates to keep you from going onto the, like, lift hill or whatever? Well, like, when you're bo boarding or make sure you don't fall off or all that? I'm, that's what I'm kind of doing right here. I'm making these walls. So, like, and you can see it right here. I make a like a long tube. So when people are boarding the trains and um, getting off the trains, you're they're supposed to you know flip that. And even though it's not functional, they're supposed to flip it, and people can get out and get on without causing a safety hazard, realistically. And I. Also, this video was would have may have been was supposed to be like maybe a couple minutes shorter, but I decided, eh, screw it. I'm just gonna sit down for another 15 minutes of work because I didn't think it was really much complete. But now I'll get back to you guys then. I'll be back in about seven minutes.
okay, I am back. And another thing is back. These fantasy pieces. Um, I am kind of shocked they went back to using these, but not because I don't like them or anything like that. I'm, I'm actually really, I really like these pieces. It's just, I never really saw myself ever using them again, because that was kind of a, the main like, piece of that, of the mini park. And I found a spot for them in our main, in our um, Alpine Slope series. This, I've, I'm really, really like glad that I could um, incorporate these into the park um, because I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I know I mentioned it, that the area is going to kind of be like a beach, but I never mentioned that the roller coaster is kind of themed around around a beach. So. Um, I don't really necessarily need beach related names, but if that, if it did get that, it wouldn't be, like, I wouldn't be totally against that. It's just, this is definitely beach orientated because, like, if you look at the area when we're, like, when we're done, it looks way different than over in the other area of the park. It looks warmer and all that. You can even see that with that little plant right on the side. And, like, oh, also, this is where I cut, because I was thinking, eh, I'm just gonna just say, oh, I ran out of time, I know, because I technically kind of am running out of time, um, because I am going up north, which is just Northern California for me, and I'm gonna go to, um, say goodbye to California's Great America, um, and also the Santa Monica, um, not Santa Monica, the, um, Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk and that is gonna be fun because that would be some more credits at, I just got um, three at Magic Mountain Viper Wonder Woman and um, um, Superman and I am gonna do another this year I am gonna do an, another credit um, counting I didn't think I was going to but it's changed a lot since you last seen it and I've like to share it with you guys so be on the lookout for that it's gonna be at the end of the year because I may still get back to um, Six Flags um, even though it didn't we, we really did have a great day there I may make a video about that um, but maybe maybe not I can't I can't hate on both Knott's Berry Far and Magic Mountain right now because they're, they're like my only two sources of um, roller coasters but um, we are getting to the end of this video I'm gonna give you something actually something different um, for after this, um, um, after the time lapse is over. So, stay, make sure you walk, watch to the end so you can see those. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good. Bye.